Rolling Tin Fist. Hello, man. Want to do a quick recording about uh, my videos. Um, first of all, my videos are typically short and uh, just really quick and dirty. Part of that is, you know, as an awakened, well-married man, I have little time. I mean, it's a miracle I get as many videos as I do up. Um, my day typically starts at about 6.30 a.m. And I don't really get me time till once I'm done with homework and the kids and put them to bed about 9.30 p.m. And then there's exercise and all the other crap I have to do. Um, so I usually try to kick out about a, uh, a video a week. Um, I could make it more elaborate, but I just don't have the time. I don't have the time. And to me, the most important thing is to get the message out there. Um, another thing that I know some content providers do, and I don't do and will never do, is to put you know, a woman out there. You know, as a, as a thumbnail or whatever. Um, this is not me judging what other, you know, content providers do. You know, it's, it's the open internet. You can do whatever you want to do. But as for me personally, to me, that's like perpetrate, you know, um, putting forth something as a carrot to get you off the carrot. You know, so to me, it's not really conducive to at least the message I'm trying to put out there um, to try to help men based on my hard won experience. So to me, to put like a woman, an attractive woman, um, as a thumbnail would really be counterproductive to my, what I feel can be my contribution to the manosphere, um, being an awake and well married man. Um, so I just wanted to put that, you know, out there um, so people get a sense of you know my videos and and, and what have you um, another thing to point out is um, I did an introduction video ages ago when I first uh, swallowed the red pill back in January and I will probably do a recap towards the end of the year and who knows this might be it but um, you know one of the reasons I started this was I took the red pill much later than I wish I had. And so a lot of things are baked for me, meaning that it's a done deal. I'm where I am, and I basically have to use the red pill knowledge I have to make the best of where I am, you know, as a married man with kids. Um, do I enjoy freedom? Certainly. Obviously not as much as if I was just me and I got the wet red pill, let's say, 20 years ago. Um, but it is what it is. And um, I'm making the best life possible. And it's a good life. I can't really complain. Um, I've been blessed, you know, even with the woman that I'm with. She's known the wall by any means, but it's manageable. You know, it's a situation I can manage. Um, and, you know, the kids are great and, you know, I'm getting paid uh, sufficiently to you know make, make have a good life and have good things but um the reason i do this is that and messenger rising had a great really just kick-ass take no prisoners video about basically talking about mctows and going mctow you're not gonna like it but there's so much truth in that I would say just take the heat and try to filter into what he's actually trying to say. It's a great video, and I'll put a link in the description. But for me, you know, I'm not MGTOW. I don't pretend to be. But I've seen enough men get their asses handed to them. Um, I've been to a couple of funerals I, this year alone, um, and I've seen the results, you know, of, of when a man is basically, you know, a utility and, you know, he's gone the traditional route, he's done what he's have to what he's been asked to do by society or whomever and has, has paid the price. Um so all I can do is based on my personal experience, try to help men out there, but particularly married men, um, because it's a bit different, right? Because, you know, once you already have, you know, a wife and a kids, um the space in which you have to move, even if it's free space, it's much more restricted than if you were a single guy. Um, and there's just some things that, as a married man, um, 
that, that you need to be doubly aware of. You know, things like uh, divorce, as in messaging rights, and talked about, you know, uh, custody issues. Um, I've been blessed with never having to deal with custody issues with my children, but I have dealt with, you know, uh, separation and having to, you know, deal with a lawyer, sort out property, you know, um, you know, monthly payments, you know, all that, you know, court, you know, legal settlements, all that. Um, and, you know, I know a lot of men that have gone through that or have yet to go through that. So I think part of the value I can add is just based on my personal experience. And my view is that if I can help one guy, you know, just get a little bit more freedom or be able to at least better manage his current situation, then I think that's great. Um, because there are too many men out there that feel trapped in wherever they may be, particularly if they're married with kids and, you know, feel there's no daylight, you know, they're in this marriage, um, they've got these kids, they've got these encumbrances of mortgage, car notes, bills, shitty job, you know, and they start, you know, finding things to cope that in the short term are great, you know, they may have an affair, they might, you know, buy a speedboat, and they don't even like boats, you know, as the coping mechanism, but... Um, part of this manosphere, red pill knowledge, and I think plus my experience, I think I can help those type of men try to help manage the situations and get some freedom out of their context, you know, whatever space they have. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, so you won't hear from me for probably about a week or so as I do some uh, much overdue traveling. Um, but take care, man. Peace.